Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll create a simple React app and then I'll dockerize this. And I'll show you how you'll send, how you, how you push your Docker image to Azure Container Registry. So for this, I'll just create simple React app and the command is npx create React app and give a name for your app. So I'll call this SCB. So this will create a simple React app in my test directory. So let's wait until it completes. The sample React app SCB has been created. So just type a list so that we can see our sample app SCB has been created. Now cd into SCB and clear the screen and just type a list to show all the files and folders. Now open any of your favorite editor and write down the Docker file. So I have already written my Docker file and that has that will use the I'll find as a base image and will use the working directory app. And I'm exposing the port 3000 and I'm copying all the fold all the files and folders on my current directory. So I'm installing the dependencies and I'm installing the server in, in my last command cmd. Now press control X, control S and then control X. Now what I'll do I will just build my Docker file. So for this I will type docker build hyphen t and I will name this test and the docker file is my the root directory and press enter. So this will this will this will build my docker file. Once it's done, I will get back to you. Welcome back. So the docker image has been built. Now clear the screen and just type docker images. So as it's seen that my test image has been build now just run on my local machine though so that i can make sure that the application is running locally so i will use the port 3000 and i the hyphen d denote that it will run on my detach mode so just pass your image press enter the application has been uh, the docker image has been built now press the local host colon 3000 so as as it can be seen the application is up and running so now let's clear the screen Go back to your browser, go back to your Azure uh, account and click on the container registries, create your container registry, select your subscription, select your resource group, give a name that test SCB image and leave the location according to your requirements. The pricing plan should be basic, standard or premium. The premium has much more features than the standard and basics ones. So let's let's go to the networking as we select the basics plan. So it will not allow us to store your application, store your images privately. Only premium supports the private uh, uh, registries for your containers. So now click on the inscript encryption. The basics and standards also not supporting the manage keys so we will keep disable this and for environment i'll just type env and def whatever you can now just review and create uh, wait for the final validations once this pass i will create the container registries so let's wait the validation has been passed click create so once done i'll get back to you guys welcome back so the resource has been created go to the resource Go to the access keys and use admin user. First of all, I'll log in with my container registry. So for this, I will like docker login and I have copied the login server. So just paste here. It will ask me the username. So this is my username. Then it will ask me to enter password so i will add password so i have i should be logging to my container registries let's wait for it succeed yes so i have successfully been logged in just clear the screen just type docker images i have this image i want to push into my docker registry so what i will do i will just take this image and what i will do i will just type the login server give a meaningful name that a react app and I will take this version 1.0 so 
so application has been tagged now just push this application this docker image okay this should be pushed by now so the image has been is pushing now the, the, the docker image has completed. been pushed to azure container registry let's get verified this go to your repo uh, container registry then your repo you should find react app and it should have its